Hi everyone, welcome along today. Sorry about the sore throat, things happen don't they? Today though, I'm going to do a review of this Ilux and it's a smart light. So here it is out of the box that I've just shown you and um, it's quite a good thing, it's an intelligent light, obviously it's app driven which is why I particularly want to do it for you and show you the benefits of having an app driven light and you can see on the box here, yeah, down there, there's lots of different things that the light can do, colours and everything else. So it's going to be quite a useful thing to have, I think. And uh, we'll get right into it now. So here's the booklet with the specs. And there they are there. If you want to pause it, you can look at those. Just pause the video. Turn the page over. Um, we have our installation instructions here. I'm not going to actually install it yet on the wall because I'm not sure where I want it. But uh, I'm just going to literally wet it up on the stand and show you it in operation. Well, we're straight on to step three, obviously, you could download any app. We've already downloaded it, dead easy, very, very simple. There's no problem with that. Uh, you'll find it an absolute piece of cake. So get that downloaded uh, and on your mobile and you're ready to roll. What a great idea is the fact there that you can see that you can actually have up to 50 lamps. Wow, <laughs> that would light up the street, wouldn't it? But anyway, it does mean you can add any other lights with the same Ilux make and uh, control them all from your phone. Here is the app on the phone. Here it is here, the one we're interested in, our lamp here. So we'll just click on there. And straight away, we've got a number of scenes. I'll turn the lamp around so can see quite nice and bright there we'll just change some of the scenes on the phone app so you can see what's happening there as I change them a different set of scenes so quite nice there's lots and lots of alterations and things you can do with this app it is quite fantastic this is just a few there is obviously color dynamic uh, there, you know, you can change them all around. You've got brightness here, you brightness see that? down the bottom. Turn the brightness something you'll so see. So I big can difference. really wham the brightness, you know, really give that some stick. It really shows at night, and I can turn it right down, so it's not too in your face. But you know, these are these are all things that you can set to do on the app. So another interesting part of the app is the setting uh, the colours and stuff. Like we've got three colours here. As you can see, they're changing, which is quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> you can slow the rate down, uh, adjust the speed on this one down the bottom here, so we can go fast like that. A bit like a disco, if you had one going, <laughs> good for the garden. Uh, get all the neighbours around, have a disco, why not? Uh, to that end, we do have a music thing on it as well, I'll show you in a second. Uh, we've got seven colours there, and we can change that one. Again, there's loads of things on here. We, whoop, here we go. So, we turn that down. It's a bit fast for me, that. <laughs> Lots of good things here, but one real good one I really like. Uh, if you want to do a disco <laughs> indoors or out, just bring this thing in and it will actually go to the music. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are on the main app again, back at the main screen. We're going to touch the music one now, just to show you this one. So once you've pushed your music one, uh, it'll bring up all the music on your phone that you've got. Select a track, and here we go. Wait, and we have sound to light music. And it really get into the groove. <laughs> Where's your beer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, another thing you can do is set a scene. So down here, you just click on this little icon down here and you can set your scene. And when you want to set a scene, you have to push it for a long time and then set the scene. Prior to doing that, set your lamp up to what you want the scene to be. And then you set your scene. I've now created that scene as one of mine. If you go here to here, you've got operation manual, scene, and then you've got all of the instructions there. It's really quite easy to do and quite nice to have all these different scenes. So if you want a different mood setting in the room, you can just go to scene one, scene two, but you set it up first. Lastly, of course, we've got the grouping thing where you can group up different lights if you've got them. As you can see, it's a double lamp there. And you've got 
grouping up of the lights so if you've got more than one you can literally make them do whatever you want to do separately from each other which is a, another great idea so I think this is quite a, a kind of a good idea something I, I like modern technology anything that's new and inventive like this I think this could be quite a good good thing to have at home so there you are then quite a nice little lamp I think I like it and uh, for us it's just a case of where we're going to put it and we haven't decided yet but obviously multiple uses for this kind of thing uh, and a great idea I think let's make everything smart shall we let's make everything app driven it's got to be the way forward isn't it um, from anything these days uh, apps I think are the way to go for our ultimate control so there we are if you're interested in one of these I'll put the tag on on the wording for you and uh, that's really a great idea uh, I've got another one of these, a strip light one that I'm going to do on another video shortly. Uh, catch up with that one if you're into that kind of lighting as well. For now, that's it for me. All that stuff, Derrick and 33, you know where to go. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.